We're learning more tonight about the man accused of tying up and physically assaulting a victim for two days. As the South Haven neighborhood is still in shock, Iron Shea Simon finds out more about the man's long criminal background. From the outside, this house pretty much looks like every other house on Dale Drive in South Haven. But neighbors say what happened inside is unusual. This is six-year-old Brian Dameron in a smiling mugshot from Kentucky. South Haven police say it was inside this house where he tied up and physically assaulted a victim for two days. The victim says they are only free today because Dameron passed out from drugs and alcohol. We took a look at Dameron's criminal history and found multiple violent offenses from Callaway County, Kentucky, unlawful imprisonment, assault second degree under extreme emotional disturbance, endangerment, and burglary third degree, all from an incident in 2020. When Dameron was arrested Monday, he was on probation in Kentucky. It is kind of surprising, actually. I'm kind of shocked. Neighbors were stunned Monday as WREG noticed a boarded up window and a sign on the door, letting us know that a chemical agent was sprayed inside the house just a short time after police were called to the street. Never saw, heard, or could think nothing like that would go on next to me. South Haven police say Dameron has warrants in Mississippi, yet right now he's in 201, listed as fugitive from justice without warrant. In Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3. South Haven police say the victim had multiple injuries. They were taken to the hospital for treatment. Memphis